Hey guys, Jim here with Creative Play and Podcast Network, and here we are again in August. It is now hashtag RPG a day again for its eighth year. God, it's it's been so long. Again, we're joining in with all the other tabletop gamers out there to get creative and use the prompts now for RPG a day 2021 to inspire you guys to all write, vlog, blog, draw cool pictures this year. They're asking for whatever you do, do. So we are going to go ahead and start out with the next day. All right, guys, here we go. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. Hey guys, Jim here. Kelly. And I'm Kelly. <laughs> We're streaming along here. We should actually be streaming this episode, but we're not. Because, you know, <laughs> schedules. All yeah. the schedules. So uh, I will, of course, shamelessly plug our stream on Twitch, which is www.twitch.tv slash creative play and podcast, which we are constantly streaming different games. We've got our... City of Mist game we're doing once a month, which has been really fun with the group getting them to play those characters. You need to try that game, by the way, Kelly. Smugglers Run, our Tuesday night stream of our Old Republic era game of Smugglers. And yeah, I'm in that one. <laughs> yeah, you're, the pi- you're the pilot in that one. I'm the captain. You're the cat's meow. <laughs> then we've got our Wednesday night Dungeons and Dread, which is our very gothic-y vampire which they've yet to actually meet a vampire. But they would have died if they would have met one by now. Game. And uh, then we've got our Friday night Twitch game, which, by the way, on Patreon, we have the vote for what's the new setting we're going to be playing in. You should totally go vote because we've got lots of people voting over there already. Is d one of the options? Uh, no, it's Genesis. So it's Genesis okay. settings. If you read the post before the vote, you can actually see uh, I've got links to see all the different settings if you're interested in, in looking at them. Yeah, We've let's check it out. got uh, our uh, once a month D&D game Dungeons. Uh, no, that's we we have not streamed that game. No, we haven't. We've got our Sunday games, which we've got our Tucson Games and Gadgets Star Wars group, which is totally going to finish up their game soon. Order 66 is about to happen. And when it does, their next campaign that they've picked is they want to be a pro-Empire group during uh, a New Hope era. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Half the group already said they're going to want to defect to the Rebels. The other half wants to be pro-Imperial, so it's going to end really messy. (laughs) Of course, this is also the same group that's looking forward to Order 66 because half the clone troopers want to kill the two Jedi in the group. (laughs) <laughs> they've been taking orders from these jedi long enough they're ready to pull the trigger <laughs> and then our other game that we have is the one that we're podcasting at D&D, uh journey of the fifth which is our goblins of conquest group two they're, they're getting really good at playing evil goblins i love it <laughs> and then our every other week monday game is the heroes of Ternoth which is our 5th edition D&D set in the mythic odyssey of Terranoth world from Magic the Gathering. Basically, it's super Greek and Roman. But we've got lots and lots of streaming games, so uh, definitely check us out over on our Twitch channel. Eventually, Twitch stuff will show up on our YouTube channel, but we don't do anything live on YouTube right now because YouTube's kind of kind of weird on the streaming right now. So stream, that was me venting on and shamelessly plugging our stream. What would you like to talk about for stream, Kelly? <laughs> well, when, when, you, uh, as a, I probably just, I was recalling the stream that nearly killed Tilda. Ooh. <laughs> going back to yesterday, stream, small races and, that, and streams. 
<laughs> yeah, there was the we were in the cave and had the stream in there, but then all of a sudden the um uh we were trying to climb up the and it was a fast moving stream. Uh and we we had to try and climb up the the wet rocks and of course <laughs> my athletics sucked cuz I was a halfling and I rolled a 1 and I totally forgot about the fact that I could re-roll a 1. You know, it was a racial ability. Totally. Of all the, of all the like, halflings, you were the unlucky one. Exactly. And I fell into the water and I almost drowned. <laughs> you tried to cross the stream. <laughs> so, yeah, I tried to cross the stream, but I failed. Fortunately, they pulled me out. But, oh, my God, I just remember that character almost died because she fell into the stream. <laughs> You know, in our Heroes of Terranoth, uh, you guys almost died in that stream, too. Of course, that was a river. But, uh, yeah, a little yeah. thing like a stream can be a uh, great boon to an adventure. And again, I was a halfling. No, actually, no, I was a gnome. I'm a gnome in that one. A wanderer gnome. Yeah, a wanderer gnome. And, of course, my uh, what, my brawn is like one and that I have one green. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, no, I rolled poorly. Yeah, that, that that game for certain character builds requires teamwork. Yeah. We didn't quite have that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, for stream, I will throw out a little call to action that if any of our listeners want us to shamelessly plug a stream, by all means, just comment on our Twitch Facebook, whatnot, and I will totally plug some streams because I, I I like to sit and watch some streams as well, especially with the whole work from home thing now. Instead of just listening to streams of games and stuff, I can actually watch them with ambient uses of the pause button and the volume button. Lots of volume button. But uh, I, I personally enjoy streaming, you know, different games and, you know, getting to actually watch some games I don't have time to play. Mm. That's that's one thing that I do love about streaming is there are certain games out there I love the st- I want the story I want to finish out what the storyline is and I personally don't have time to play these games because I'm running games and doing all the different things and I can go like hey Dishonored looks cool as hell I want to watch the the playthrough and boom I stream somebody's playthrough of Dishonored and you know if you've not watched the game it's pretty cool dystopian steampunk. One and two. Well, you know me, I'm a big fan of steampunk. Mm-hmm. And it's almost like watching a movie. I know a lot of folks are like, why do you watch streams online? If it's a video game, it's because sometimes it's worth watching. Like if you've ever watched uh, the Walking Dead games, there's a few cool Walking Dead ones that you can get some cool storylines with the actual actors doing the voice actors. So definitely check out streams. Uh, there, You can stream on YouTube now, Facebook, uh, Twitch, which is my favorite streaming service, but that's just me because they're the easiest for us to stream to because they have this really cool app that lets you just stream whatever's on your screen as long as you're careful what you're uh, having on your screen. Too many people have gotten in trouble for that. Got to be careful. Anything that you'd like to throw out there for a stream? Is I'm being accosted uh, by a cat. No, that... I, that think that pretty much covers you know everything that I thought of and uh, much like podcasts, stream of consciousness perhaps <laughs> stream of thought stream of consciousness yeah <laughs> it happens once in a while <laughs> <laughs> and you can always like just throw in you know twitch and other streaming services throw out random search things and find new hobbies that way you know much like the old noob tuber idea where you can look and find new things don't be afraid to stream something like artwork lots of people are doing artwork and they're showing their process and it is cool seeing somebody in photoshop go from a piece of paper to the digital screen talking while they're doing it so you can see this is how they do it yeah that is cool Another one I like is watching folks build characters for RPGs on a stream. 
because it's kind of cool because you just watch their process as they're coming up with the character and then they're they're concepting pictures and it's it's just kind of fun to see somebody else's point of view of how they do it you know their process well and session zeros are nice that way too because then you can build a team as opposed to you know something disjointed Mm mm-hmm and much like podcasting, if you stream your game, it's a great way of the night before getting back into that place by rewatching the stream. Mm-hmm. Many a time before I have an, a game session, it's been two weeks, I pop into Twitch, I play the game, and I just listen to it in the background, and I start writing down notes of, oh, yeah, I was at this point. I was planning on springing this on the group. I was planning on doing this. Oh, yeah, remind so-and-so that they did this, this, and this, you know, in case they forgot. Well, that's originally why we started doing mm-hmm. it's like uh, we should record these so we can go back and, <laughs> you know, find out what we did right before, you know, tell Carrie she did use that item up. <laughs> 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 but the, these are the things that motivate us to do stuff. And then all of a sudden people say they enjoy it and they're like, oh, heck, if you enjoy it, I want to share more with you. Yeah. Like for those Star Wars fans out there, if you've not streamed the old Knights of the Old Republic game, you should totally at least stream the cutscenes for really cool movies. Or stream IG88. <laughs> I mean, not, not IG, HK uh, 40, 49. 47. HK47. Why is my brain not working tonight? I've been streaming too much. That's what it is. <laughs> And like everything, take it in moderation. Give yourself breaks. But uh, definitely, if you've got any streaming links that you want us to uh, follow you guys as well that I'm not, because I've got like a lot of gamer friends. I listen to their streams and occasionally put on our stream if we're not gaming. Their streams will be on our channel just because I want to share cool streams. So if you got any cool links or anything, please leave it in the notes. Shoot it to us on Twitch or Facebook. And I will gladly, shamelessly plug your stream as well because it's all about sharing cool stuff. Mm-hmm. Share the cool shit. That's, that's, that's the secret of life. Gamers supporting gamers. Yep, that's what we live for. Alrighty, guys. Now remember, hashtag RPG a day 2021 so we can stream these different uh, RPG a days. Just saying. Might have to sneak one in uh, later in the month that we stream it on the Twitch channel as we're recording it for the podcast. But not on the day of stream. Because <laughs> that's just too meta. Yeah. Alrighty. So we're going to find the middle ground in the stream here, which is our teaser for tomorrow, which is the ninth for medium. Medium, huh? Medium. Word that can be taken so many ways. And not just size. Alrighty, guys. <laughs> Thank you for listening and talk to you tomorrow. Thank you for listening to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And feel free to enjoy our other shows, such as D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition and Scion Ragnarok and Roll, a Scion hero to Ragnarok story. Thank you for listening. <laughs>